up, everybody? Welcome to another trailer reaction from ZOMG on Hyper RPG. We're going to be watching Marvel's Spider Man E3 gameplay trailer. Fuck yes! Probably the most beautiful trailer to come out of E3 this year. Ooh. It was aesthetically, graphically, sexually pleasing. It was yeah. a good yes, one. Yes, all of those things. I can. I concur I <laughs> completely. Uh, what's crazy is I'm not even going to call it a trailer because a I was very fortunate, uh, Malika and I, to see a gameplay demo in inside the E3 booth. Mm. Uh, because when you see this, you think it's all quick time events because they cut out a lot of the button interactions for the for this E3 presentation. But that most of this is player choice what? Oh, wow. and that blew my mind what? it blew my fucking mind now and i feel malika, like i'm gonna be watching it with yeah a new perspective right malika and i kept watching the guy's hands because we're like no this can't be let's no uh, let's watch his hands and see yeah. if he's actually he's, oh no he messed up right there oh he missed that one shot now yeah. he's doing this instead and i was like looking for all the things that were different and it blew my mind this is the most seamless seamless gameplay i've ever seen in a video oh, game boy. between quick time events to into movement stuff just Totally. Blew my mind. Ooh, you, okay. Have you seen this yet? No, I actually Holy haven't. Holy shit. <laughs> yeah, yes. I, I slept on a lot of... Uh, well, we um, were busy all week. Yeah. We were busy. We missed a lot of Everybody the stuff. Everybody was busy. Yeah, we missed a lot of the stuff. All yeah, right. I saw Pam for like two seconds and she was gone. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> I didn't see her at all. That's how crazy it was. Yeah. All right. All right. We're going we're gonna to get this started. Maybe inappropriate for children. Okay. <laughs> Spider-Man. Insomniac Games, right? All units, all units. 10 10 S at 36 and Park. Oh, Repeat, all units be advised. Shots fired at Fisk Towers. Video games, guys. This is all just in game engine, man. I asked a lot of questions when I was there, too, so I'll be able to shed some light on some stuff. <laughs> That's my boy! That's my boy! Yuri, I'm here. What do you see? Dead bodies. Find the rest. Boss wants them dead. It's funny, I just Looks picked like up and he says, Yuri, I'm here, because the voice of Spider-Man is Yuri that? Lowenthal. Oh. I got this. We know that guy. So they cut out all the notifications for what buttons to press and everything, but almost everything in the environment is interacting. And you get to choose how you want to interact with it. Stay So when I was watching the gameplay trailer, he chose to do something different there. And this all went down different too. Wow. So it just kept making me think like, oh shit, they're like, this is ballsy. Yeah. <laughs> Whoa. Should've worn a helmet. Now a lot of yeah. the... Oh, yeah, this is gonna, what this reminds me of. It's a lot like that Dishonored kind of gameplay yeah. where, like, when people get good at it, they can do it at a speed that's like, wait, what? Territory is yeah. Ours now. Not today. Is most of the environment interactive? Yeah. <laughs> that's the thing. It's like anytime you're, like, anytime you are connecting with somebody with your web ability, you could then choose to link it up with another thing in the environment. And that's the stuff that blew us away in the live demo. It's like, what one of the things that happened back there... Instead of here, he chose to approach this scene differently. And he like webbed a guy and then pulled down the scaffolding over here in the background. Uh, he actually interacted with that, where he like webbed a guy but then pulled the scaffolding down on top of him. Wow. It just blew our minds. I'm just I'm trying to picture the mocap for this. <laughs> yeah. Also, Spider Man just straight up murdered that person. No, no, he he webbed him to the top. Oh, he didn't no, go he off the ledge. Oh. No, they made a really good point. Hey, Every really? time you see him look like somebody's about to go away, he brings him back in. Wow. Nice I bet the game you can let him fall. Though, right? Yeah. I hope so. I mean, no, I don't. <laughs> Wait, the demons. Who's their leader? Keep my men alive, and maybe I'll tell you. All right. No, that guy that was. From prison? Yep, Wilson Fisk from prison. FaceTime. No, He's got connections. Book, yeah, comic book logic. He could do Saving that. bad guys from other I mean, bad in the comics, guys. he did Not like put out a hit on Aunt May from prison. Yeah. I just, it's so expansive. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. Uh, it's yeah, so yeah, I'm Spider Man. Yeah, I'm Spider Man. Oh my gosh. Jeez, oh, the physics. Uh -huh. 
I just I wanna I just wanna start webbing shit. I just yeah. wanna start webbing yeah. shit. Do it right now. Yeah. I got a present for you! And this was great too, because this entire boss fight went completely differently. Hey big guy. And the gameplay demo and like the way he chose to approach it. Get a little bit more environment interaction. Punchy punchy kitty. Is that a Higgs field? That's actually really cool. Got him tired. Got him tired. Yes. Oh my, oh my gosh. Fisk, your men are safe. Your turn. Who runs the demons? And see, this is just them showing up. That's just out. yeah. Check the roof. Looking around. Nice and slow with the. This beautiful game yeah. that we made. It's beautiful. Oh, wow. I run I'm up run. buildings. So. I freaked out when I saw this. I freaked out. As a fan of the comic books, when I saw Mr. Negative was in this game... What?! <laughs> because he's not somebody we've seen in Spider-Man external media yet. Like, this is not somebody who's shown up and stuff. Like, Mr. Negative came out in, like, 2009, 2010. Yeah. Mr. Negative. Fresh. Yeah, he's fairly new. I know I've had my beefs with Dan Slot, but I still like some of the characters they've introduced. Oh, come on. Do it, Batman. No, 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 no! I want to know how the <laughs> attached to the. I like that effect. I, I really like this too. <gasps> like he's falling and then wakes up. Woo! So they're cutting out some of the button presses that you would see in the gameplay demo. Let's go, let's go! It's so like when you woke up in the gameplay demo, you had to hit the button for just the right time to make sure you woke up. Yeah. It looks oh so my beautiful! Gosh. I just got goosebumps! It's so good! Yeah. It's so beautiful. Go. The first time that I watched this trailer is actually in a green room. Watch it, like, Did that just happen? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. couldn't hear anything, couldn't really see anything. I can tell you the sound design, Malik and I both thought was some of the best sound design we've ever heard in a video game, too. It's complicated. The, sitting Turns in the theater watching the gameplay the demo with the headphones, or not headphones, but just like they had like 3D said, surround and everything. Sit tight, Yuri. I got the, uh, this. It was just, it was unreal. Captain Watanabe, I just recognized the name. Oh my god, yeah, she's a new that character as well. She ends up being uh, a little bit of a you vigilante in her own right in the comics. I know. So I hope she shows up in her vigilante costume faster. because she takes no prisoners. Working on it, Yuri. So cool. Too close. Like, this is going to be one of those games I could watch other people play all day, too. Yeah. If everybody gets to look and feel this much like Spider Man. <laughs> Yeah. That's what I think. Go back and watch the way other people would do dishonor. Since there was just so many things. Yeah. Okay, Lee. Here I come. God, it just looks so much like Spider Man. Yeah, luckily. Hi, is this the flight to Newark? Lol. He got jokes. Oh yeah. Why are you doing this? Because no one else will! Ah! <laughs> oh, yeah, Please, this is crazy! This, this isn't you! Right. You don't know me! Yeah. that they threw in there definitely just to show you that this is game real game. fast. Yeah. I guess this is the plan. God, man. This feels so good. Like, I'm just remembering how it felt in the theater watching on, the gameplay demo. Like, we were in a theater watching this, someone play a video game. And it, it just felt so good. The sound design, the music, and everything together made it one of the best experiences I've ever had watching someone else play a video game. Don't screw this up. So the gameplay demo differed from this. It kind of went into finishing the mission, whereas yeah. this is like a cutaway for just the trailer. Mr. Lee? Sleepy boy. Yeah! Wait for it. Gotta have an after 
post-credits Marvel scene. Yeah. It's over. Come on, dude, let's go. Miles! Oh, shit. Right? Oh, right? Shit. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's oh what a, what a... Blew my mind! What so literally good. blew my mind. He revealed there. Sneaky reveal. Ooh, do you think? That. Do you guys think that this wins your vote for best trailer at E3? Oh, yeah. Because I, it, it totally so. has my vote. Well, and I'm a Nintendo like fangirl is, through and through. This so. is the most gameplay you get out of game trailers in a long time. Lots of yeah. times they like to... I mean, I will give it to them. This year at E3, a lot of things were gameplay. And the only reason we're not covering some of them is because they were like 20 to 30 minutes long sometimes yeah. there were so many gameplay reveals this year but no, no gameplay looked this smooth yeah. yeah oh man the transitions i was telling these guys uh before we started uh, malik and i went to a uh e3 after party on friday and her old mentor tomo was one of the leads on spider-man 2 mm -hmm. so we were excited to talk to him about this because when we watched this we were just wow this might be it we've been waiting for something to beat spider-man 2 yeah. spider-man 2 goes down as like the best spider-man game yet it just it experimented with so many things and it got so many things right and we were like oh i wonder what he thinks and he had the same reaction he was like this could be it this could finally be the thing that takes down spider-man 2 and he started geeking out and he's like i don't know how they did it I don't know how they were so seamless with those transitions between actual gameplay and the cinematic events. It didn't ever feel like it was taking you out of the moment. The moment just kept pressing yeah. forward and just kept pushing you forward. I think this is the mm. first time that gameplay has actually felt <laughs> like a movie as it was being played. Oh. Like with, with Tomb Raider or God of War, yeah. you know, you have, you, you know, which parts are interactive, you know, which parts are the, the cut scenes, but this one, like, and the prompts may not have been there the whole time, but still it felt like I was playing a movie. Yeah. yeah. Like being in a movie and playing a movie and that, that I've never played a Spider-Man game before. I'm not going to lie, but I really, really want to play this. Oh, I can tell you, sitting in that theater, the sound design gave everyone in there just these feelings of just... Got the feels? Oh, gosh. So the sound feels. design was so good. The little things, too. The absolute little things. What did you think, man? Yeah, no, that was great. That was crispy. That was smooth, as always. You know, definitely can't wait to see the finished product. Uh, but yeah, no, that was real great. Yeah, I, I think the other thing gave me a lot of confidence in this. It's Insomniac Games, who also did Sunset Overdrive. Yeah. And if you told me the guys who made Sunset Overdrive, the, you know, the team over there are going to go make Spider-Man, that makes perfect sense to me. Because the one thing I really loved about Sunset Overdrive was the seamlessness yep. of movement. Mm -hmm. You know, you were always moving. You had to. And the way you moved, like, perfect for a Spider-Man game. They yeah. know how to make... And the controls were tight yeah. on Sunset Overdrive. Um, as far as other stuff, like it's not coming out till 2018. Sometime. We don't really know just 2018. It's supposedly open world, which I don't fully understand because that mission did feel kind of on rails. Yeah. And I understood that, you know, that was like not the beginning of the game. That's like mission two. The beginning of the game is you putting Wilson Fisk in prison. Yeah. And for just a little story background for you guys, that's Mr. Negative, Martin Lee. He is the head of a charity organization in New York called Feast that Aunt May works for. So it's going to make things a little interesting for Peter in that way. My theory, this is my theory. I could be completely wrong, guys. I could be completely wrong. But Mr. Negative in the comic books, he, he can take people over. He has this gang known as the Inner Demons. Mr. Negative is literally like, you know, he's, it's, he's the opposite, polar opposite kind of thing. Uh, he can possess people, take them over and stuff like that. I want to think, I want to believe this is going to happen. He possesses Peter Parker and you got to play as Miles. Oh, wow. I would love for there to be a mission where you would play as Miles. Venom? Yeah. How would that, would no, that he's just, he just becomes controlled by Mr. Negative. And, ah, uh, okay. but, uh, I, by even showing Miles in that trailer, I was like, oh, they got to do that. They got to do that. And there's no comic book to reference this to. Uh, from what I understand, they're taking characters from the modern comic books, but it's in their own universe. Yeah. This is their world by their rules. They don't want people to guess. They want they want it to be a new experience for everybody. Yeah. He's 23. He's graduating college. Yeah. Uh, and he's working in a lab. And that's... It, apparently, we get some, you know... Uh, some correlation with the comic books, but outside of that, we have no idea what's going to happen, which is, to me, really exciting. It's not tied into the movies. We don't have all these yeah. plot threads that are going to drop. It's all super, super surprising. I'm stoked. Well, they can take their sweet-ass time coming out with that game because I would rather have a completed, unbroken game in my hands than them push to release it me and too. have it not be the game that I just saw. I agree completely. Yeah, do you feel like, uh, you know, more speculative uh, stuff, but... 
Do you think this is going to lead into, because you were saying how it's independent from the comics and independent from the movies, is there now going to be a Marvel video game universe? Apparently there's not going to be a universe, but in 2014, Marvel approached Sony about doing this and Insomniac Games. Uh, and the goal being that Marvel wanted for all their upcoming video game properties to work with companies who were the best and who really loved the content. So Marvel is starting to put more attention, apparently, on working with people. I mean, we had the Square Enix announcement mm -hmm. of the Avengers game. Mm -hmm. We know nothing more about that. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like they've decided, okay, no more shitty video games. Yeah. Let's start putting out quality content. So yeah. They learn from, from investing in their cinematic universe that maybe the gaming universe is worthwhile as well. Probably. Yes. They got the right teams behind it. So guys, let us know what you think in the comments below. And I'm sure a lot of you are going to tell us how much you think that this was all staged and none of it's real and that the uh, that it's all all just quick time events and you're going to be really cynical about it which i understand because we need that for contrast so keep doing it <laughs> I, because i was you until i sat through the gameplay demo because i well, first time i saw this trailer everything i thought was like nah i don't even know how much of this is real like this is probably all bullshit and then malik and i were blown away when we saw how much that was being controlled by a human being playing on the control a real so, human being. did he let you touch the controller though no, he didn't. Oh. No, I didn't. But he was sweating balls. <laughs> he was like in a he room full of people. And he was like, oh. and anytime he missed a move, you could see him like, oh, fuck. Because <laughs> apparently we talked to somebody who also worked for Insomniac who was in line who was trying out to be the gameplay tester. And he said he failed the tryout, that he wasn't good enough. Wow. <laughs> so they had people in the company competing to see who got to be the best player to play at E3. Oh my okay. god. So of course there was like pro level here, but all right guys, let us know in the comments below uh, and make sure to check out more ZOMG for trailer reactions about all the wonderful games that were announced here at E3. Uh, and uh, we'll talk to you guys later. Okay, right. love bye. You, bye. bye.